Good morning, family. Pastor Artie here with your men and coffee. You know, what do you say to people? How do you say it? You know, often you hear me say, and I know others have said, it's not what you say, but it's how you say it. You know, and here's the thing. You know, the Bible is clear. It tells us in Proverbs 24, or no, Proverbs 25. Let me go back. Proverbs 25, starting at verse 8, and we're going to go through verse 12. These these are kind of like a life scripture to me. Well, 20, uh, 11 and 12 are, but, you know, but I want to put it kind of in context for you. Here's what we do when people talk about us or we talk about other people. It says, Go forth hastily to strive, lest thou know not what to do in the end thereof, when thy neighbor hath put thee to shame. Debate thy cause with thy neighbor himself, and discover not a secret to another. In other words, don't gossip. Um, lest he that heareth it puts thee to shame, and thy infamy turns not away. A fitly spoken word is like an apple of gold in a pitcher of silver, as an earring of gold, an ornament of fine gold, so is a wise reproof upon the obedient ear. In other words, a fitly spoken word. Say things nice to people. Talk nice to them. Don't go sharing it with others. It tells you in verse 10, you know, let not the hearer be put to shame because in verse 9 it says, discover not a secret to another. In other words, you don't go gossiping to other people. Well, you know, so-and-so said something about this and, and, and you know, they said something about the pastor to me or you know people have told me personally things that you guys will never know because it's none of your business I love you guys but it's none of your business if I want something from you I'll just ask for prayer I won't ask for nothing more you don't have to know anything else going on and that's the way you should be as well when people come and say things about you don't go sharing that with other people because then what happens is it brings shame back on you because then you're the gossiper. You're the person doing the naysaying. You know, we have a lot of people today that do that, point fingers at each other and, 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 and just put each other down. And, you know, and what do we call it? We call it debating. Well, they're debating. No, they're not debating. They're arguing with each other. They're pointing out faults of another to each other. And it's shameful. It's shameful. I mean, you know, I, I sometimes I can't stand to watch politicians on TV because that's all they do. They point fingers and they shame themselves when they talk about other candidates, you know, or they talk about the president or they talk about issues. You know, I hate that. I really do. And I know I've probably said it a few times. You know, there's some things that really get under my claw that just is not cool. And I don't like it because it hurts other people, you know. So I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Personally, I'm going to try to be that fitly spoken word, like an apple of gold set in a silver platter. What about you guys? What are you going to do today? How are you going to say words to people? What are you going to talk about? Is it going to be fitly spoken? Or is it going to be, like it says here in verse 9, discovering not a secret to another? Are you going to gossip? Are you going to point your finger at that person and say, oh, look what they're doing, look what they're doing? You know what? There's a lot of people doing a whole lot of things out there. But the thing is, we need to love them through it all. And we need to pray for them. We need to pray for our government. We need to pray for our local government here in California and in whatever state you live in. You need to be lifting them up in prayer. They do some crooked things and boy, I'll tell you what, some things just will crawl up your skin and drive you nuts. But the thing is, you need to make sure that you are praying for them. Pray that God will get a hold of their heart and they'll do the right thing. Because you got to remember, they're working for us. They don't work for themselves. A lot of them think they do, but they don't. And we too, we work for each other. I pray for you. I hope you're praying for me. Continue to pray for my foot. You know, I can't have that blister get infected because the minute it gets infected, it's going to go crazy. And I know it will because every time I've gotten a blister on my foot, I wound up having something cut off. So I'm asking for your prayers because it is a touchy situation. Now, the Lord can heal me, sure. 
but is that his will for me? You know, look at Paul, what he said, you know, how come you, how come I have this thorn in my side? I've asked you to deliver me from this dead man. You know, Paul went through heck, man. But yet, he was still one of the most effective preachers of the gospel in the Bible. What about you today? Are you going to be that fitly spoken word? Are you going to be that apple of gold set in a pitcher of silver? Are you going to be like that earring that adorns your body and not be corrupted? Let's not gossip today. Let's pray for each other. How about it, guys? Love you all. We'll talk to you real soon. Happy Friday. Talk to you later. Uh, Linda and I are praying for you, by the way. And also, everybody here at Rock Ministries, we are lifting you up in prayer today. May you have a blessed day. We love you, and we'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.